welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to cheese kitchen all right today i'm taking you through another healthy lovely mouth watering recipe on how to prepare egg fish chip without using tomatoes we're making use of bell peppers yes you heard me right this too is lovely it's mouth watering as well you can have it with rice yam plantain can even have it with swallow air but any kind of swallow you want to have it with guys it's good to go don't forget to subscribe hit the rest subscription button to my returning subscribers god bless you. if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel what are you waiting for can you hit the rest subscription button subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up so let's dive into it hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to chase kitchen all right today i'm taking you through another healthy lovely mouth watching recipe on how to prepare egg stew without using tomatoes we have our scotch bonnet pepper red bell peppers and the long bell peppers and our egg fish bay leaves salt vegetable oil or purple seasoning curry i'm using fresh thyme fresh rosemary ginger garlic onions and two nut cubes all these ingredients you are seeing here is what we are using to prepare this lovely mouth watering stew please don't forget to subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up i remain your favorite girl cheese kitchen to my returning subscribers god bless you if you're here to subscribe please can you hit the red subscription button so you'll be notified whenever i post a new video so let's get it started so guys as you can see i've added my onions pepper ginger garlic and our thyme and our bay leaf everything that needs to be added is added there so i'm going to leave it to steam for 10 to 15 minutes after that we are going to be frying it please stay tuned as i take it to the process bit by bit don't forget to subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up i remain your favorite girl cheese okay, cool. But guys it has been 10 to 15 minutes our fish has been cooking and it's ready so right now we are going to start frying it so stay tuned and stay blessed don't forget to subscribe so guys here's the oil that we are going to be using to fry our fish so i've added my onions it's optional not to add onions to your oil but why i decided to add onions to it i love the flavor it gives to the fish or meat whenever you are frying your fish if you don't want to fry you can as well grill it in your oven so stay tuned as i take it to the process bit by bit so guys next i'm adding our fish to it i'm frying on a low heat because i don't want our fish to get burnt Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, and also give me a thumbs up. I'm not going to be overcrowding this because our pot is more big. And I'm also going to be making use of this oil. This is the oil we are going to be using to cook this stew. So stay tuned as I take it to the process bit by bit. So guys, as you can see, our fish is nicely fried. And this one is the last batch. So now I'm going to be taking them off. Then after that, we are going to be using the same oil to fry our stew so stay tuned as i take it to the process bit by bit so guys here is the oil that we use in frying our fish behind the scene i have already moved all the onions and every dirt inside so next i'm going to be adding my onions to it then give it a quick stir so i'm going to leave it to stir fry for another three minutes after that we produce our blended soup pepper so guys in here i blended my pepper my ginger my garlic so i'm going to be adding it inside Remember this stew, we are not making use of tomatoes. It's all about pepper stew. How to make your stew without using tomato. I know people will be like, is that possible? Yeah, it's possible. Just stay tuned as I take it to the process bit by bit. We are going to allow this to fry for another 30 to 45 minutes. So stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, our stew has been frying for 30 to 45 minutes is ready how you will know that your stew is ready when the oil starts settling on top is ready they will give it a quick stir so next i'm going to be adding my no cube next i'm going to be adding my curry next i'm going to be adding all purpose seasoning no So next, I'm going to be adding my sauce. Please mind the salt to add because you know our meat stock, our fish stock has salt. Next, I'm going to be adding nutmeg to it. I love adding nutmeg whenever I'm making my stew. It takes the stew to another level. Try it out and let me know how you feel when you add nutmeg into your meal. Because anything that has to do with nutmeg, the taste is wow. And the aroma is something I don't know how to explain. So 
that's okay by me then i give it a quick stir as well are you seeing how lovely this stew is looking like i said you can make this stew without adding tomatoes it's all about bell pepper scotch butter pepper stew try it out and let me know what you think about it so right now we are going to leave it to steam a little bit more for another 10 to 15 minutes then we'll introduce our fish to it stay tuned so guys next i'm gonna be adding our fish to it guys i know by now my neighbors will be seeing this woman again are you seeing how lovely this stew is looking guys can you tell the difference without adding tomatoes and just ordinary bell peppers so i'm gonna be adding my fish one after the other my hand is properly washed please don't forget to subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up please let me know if you tried this recipe and special shout out to all my returning subscribers if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please can you hit the rest subscription button subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up so stay tuned i'm gonna do the rest off camera so guys next i'm gonna be adding a little bit of our fish stock to it i'm not gonna be adding everything because i want this stew to be very very thick as you can see so one of this is okay for me then i give it a quick stir guys don't forget to subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up i remain your favorite girl cheese kitchen so the remainder of the fish stock i'm gonna store it in the fridge it's gonna be useful for me next time if i'm having any meal i just want to prepare sharp sharp rice it's gonna be useful so guys we are going to leave it to steam a little bit more for another five minutes after that is ready so guys as you can see our stew is ready like this now you can have it with white rice boiled yam boiled plantain white pasta beans anything of your choice you are good to go you know a lot of people love eating having a bar with stew so you can as well have it with it it's really really yummy and lovely as well please don't forget to subscribe share like comment and also give me a thumbs up i remain your favorite girl cheese kitchen stay safe and stay blessed till i come your way next time bye bye please subscribe to my returning subscribers god bless you if you are yet to subscribe hit the rest subscription button so i'll be notified whenever i post a new video bye bye